Well, hello, this is Preacher Man Piper, Doc Hatfield, coming to you again with, with another story about my life. Uh, in the last video I did about Asperger's, I uh, thought I'd tell you about a couple of incidences that took place uh, before I was ever in this power chair uh, that happened during the Christmas time at Walmart, which caused me never to go back to Walmart or to any other shopping of any kind during the Thanksgiving and Christmas times. And uh, uh, I, I was in there uh, probably two weeks before Christmas and and uh, there was just a bunch of people uh, in that Walmart and I was standing in an aisle and and uh, uh, looking at something, and this guy backed right up against me and stayed there. I mean, he didn't move. And so I abruptly got away from him and turned around, and he turned around, and he said, what's wrong? And I said, you touch me. I don't like nobody touching me. I don't want nobody touching me. I don't want nobody rubbing up against me. I don't want nobody bumping me. You just keep your distance. Well, it's kind of hard not to when there's this many people in here. I said, I don't care if there's three times as many people in here. Don't you bumping up against me. I said, now that's all there is to it. And so he said, all right. He said, I'm, I'll, I'll watch it. I said, okay, that's all I ask you. And uh, so then about a week before Christmas, uh, I was in there and got a basket full of stuff, and I was in this one line that had about 20 or 25 people ahead of me. I mean, all, the, all of them were busy that had somebody working at them. There was two or three registers that nobody was at. So... Uh, uh, I'm just standing there waiting, and uh, this this woman is is uh, standing in front of me, and uh, and so all of a sudden this guy comes up, and he literally knocks my basket out of the way and and gets in line, and I said, "Hey, buddy, the line starts way back yonder." And he said, this is my wife. I don't have to go back there. Shut your mouth. And I said, now look, you don't have to talk like that. I said, all you had to do is just say I'm here with my wife. And, uh, and he said, uh, uh, well, if you don't shut up, he said, I'm going to make sure you don't... Uh, you don't stay in this line. I'll, I'll knock you out of this line. I said, oh, don't be talking like that. And he, he whipped around there with his right hand and started to hit me. And whenever he did, I got him just right. And I co-cocked that dude. He hit the floor. I mean, he was, he was out. Everybody started clapping their hands, and his wife turned around to me and said, well, finally, somebody stood up to him, said, he's, he's mean to people. He, and somebody else said, yeah, he's always in here causing trouble and everything else. It's about time somebody didn't take his guff. And about that time, here comes some, some uh, people from Walmart, and uh, they come over to me and they said, sir, said, uh, could you uh, come over here? And said, we'll check you out over here. I said, no, that's not right. I'm, I don't mind standing in line. He said, he leaned over to me and he said, but you don't understand. Somebody's going to call the police. And so we want to get you out of here before the police gets here. And I said, well, I said, all right. I said, uh, I just defended myself. He said, I know, but you don't want that trouble. And I said, no, I don't. So they took me over into another thing where nobody was at and they they checked me out over there, and uh, 
helped me go out the store. And whenever I got outside, they, this fellow said to me, he said, man, he said, he is mean to everybody in this store. He said, I can't believe somebody finally stood up to him and said, uh, that's the best thing I ever did see. And I said, well, uh, he said, now go ahead and get in your car and go on home and and, uh, uh, and that'll be the end of it. He said, we'll make sure that, that you're not bothered. I said, well, I appreciate, appreciate that very much. Well, I went home, told my wife all about that. And uh, I told her, I said, I'm not going to go shopping no more. Not during Thanksgiving and Christmas. I said, I'm not going to do it. I said, uh, uh, here, in, the, here in, in a little over a week's time, I said, I've had two altercations in that, in that Walmart, and this is the end of it. I'm not going back. If you want something, even groceries or whatever, you got to go get them. I'm not going back in there when it's uh, uh, holiday times. And I said, so that's just it. So that was the end of that. So now I want to tell you what else I'm giving for the goal. First off, I got four ounces of Lane One Q. Yep, Lane One Q. A lot of people like this, so I got four ounces of that. Now that's going to go with the pipe, and then I'm going to give a package of these pipe cleaners. And I don't know, I'll, I might find something else to put in on it too. <laughs> I just I, I just love to give. I, I don't have the money to buy stuff uh, much, so uh, I took, I've had so many people send me tobacco, I could smoke for six months and never had to buy none. So I took my allotment for the tobacco and bought that four ounces of that Lane One Q, uh, so that I could give in the call. And then, of course, you get the pipe that I showed you the other day. So join the call, put your name in there, so that I can uh, uh, put put you down as as a possible winner. Okay, so. That's really about all I got to say. I know you can't believe that this is all I got to say. <laughs> I don't think I've ever made a, 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 a video this short. This is going to be the first one under 10 minutes. I'm so long-winded. <laughs> I'm telling you, this, this, uh, uh, this is just one thing that, that uh, I wasn't ever expecting. But anyway, I appreciate all y'all watching, and uh, uh, and I'm excited about doing the goal uh, and picking a winner. And uh, so until I see you again, oh, by the way, uh, I have a message that I preached on my other channel, and I'll put it down in the bucket is what they call it down there. I don't know why they call it a bucket, but I'll put it down there. And then if you want to watch it, you can watch it. And if you don't, you don't have to. But uh, just thought I'd tell you. So now, may the good Lord watch over you. May he bless you, pour his grace on you, supply you every need, and take care of every circumstance. So until I see you again, this is old Doc. Signing off. Bye-bye.